Hey guys, welcome to part two of the React and Laravel 5.6 tutorial. In this session, we're going to be setting up our local database and retrieving some data to display in our front end. Uh, this is actually the second time that I'm recording this because um, I recorded it fully earlier. And as you can see down here, um, something happened and I couldn't even save the file. So anyway, I'm going to crack on with it now. I'm going to go to the example.js file where we left off in the last tutorial. And... Yeah, essentially, where we left it yesterday, we weren't actually seeing any of the React elements. We were just seeing the default Laravel page. So we're going to go straight into our terminal. I'm going to do, in the site directory, I'm going to do PHP artisan serve again. And I'm going to hit enter. This is going to set up our local development server. I'm going to take this URL, put it into Chrome, refresh. And yeah, we're going to see the Laravel default page, which is good, but not great because we want some React. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is in another tab or another window, I'm going to do npm run watch. This is going to compile every time that we save a React file. And it saves us having to write out um, npm run dev each time. Yeah, I think I got that right. Anyway, in our Sublime Text editor, we're going to go back to the component and we're going to look down here. As you can see, it says get element by ID example. And this is essentially rendering the React element above into this element on the page. But we don't have an um, example element on the page. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go into the welcome.blade.php file. And you can find this in resources views. I'm going to click here, and just for this display purposes, I'm going to type something in here, save it, I'm going to refresh, and we can see that it's rendering here. And basically, what I'm going to, I'm going to want to write div id equals example. This is going to give uh, the React file somewhere to basically render our element into in the DOM. Let's remove this. But just this alone is not going to be good enough. If I save this now, we're just going to see a blank page. This is because we haven't included the JavaScript file. So I'm going to do that now. Script source equals js forward slash app dot js. Close the script tag, save that, refresh. We can see the uh, component, but the styling is a bit out. So we can actually add the default uh, style sheet, link href equals, I think it's CSS, and I think it's app.css. I may be wrong with this, but save that. Oops, no, I'm still wrong. Mm. Save this element. Build the page. Let's just have a look. Sources, console error. I don't think it's got anything to do with it. Just bear with me one second. And today is not my day. Um, ah, well, style sheet. There we go. Uh, this is just the default React um, component that we start like we just implemented yesterday. And yeah, now we're ready to move on to the database. Okay, guys, so I'm going to jump straight into it uh, with the database. Um, I'm going to highly recommend that you download um, some software that um, can allow you to view uh, databases if you don't already. Um, my choice is SQL Pro. Um, I can't remember if it's free or not, but SQL Pro um, downloads. Yeah, you can download it, uh, download it for free a year. It's a great software, and I use it every day at work. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna want to go back into our terminal window, and 
Um, we're going to want to write in MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. I'm going to click enter. It's going to ask me for a password. I'm going to hit enter again because I don't have a local password set up. And yeah, this is just a local MariaDB server. And this was basically holds um, all the databases. Um, we're going to want to create a database relevant to a project and I suggest that you name it something um, like similar. This project is called Tutorial React, so I'm going to name my database Tutorial React. Create Database Tutorial React. Semicolon. Hit enter. And I think I'm going to click Use tutorial react and as you can see we've changed into the database which means that you know it's up and running correctly but just to clarify one more step I'm gonna go into MySQL Pro I'm gonna click here and whoop, don't think it's refreshed that is strange Um, new connection window. I go into here, change that, click connect, and as we can see, we've got tutorial react. And I'm going to want to do one more step. Um, I'm going to want to exit out of here by doing exit. And I want to go back into the root directory of our app or website. And I want to actually write in php artisan migrate. Uh, by default, this is going to um, install a range of tables that Laravel needs. I think it's going to install users and maybe a couple of other others. Oh, we got an error. Oh yeah, we need to go back to the project folder, you know, text editor, and we're going to need to um, add our database name, which was Laravel Tutorial, and let's just double check, Tutorial React. The username would be root in this case, and the password will be blank. Click save. I'm going to go back to my item. Just clear this. I'm going to do PHP Addison migrate one more time. And as we can see, it's created a users table. It's created a passwords table. And I'm going to open it up in SQL Pro. And there we go. We've got the users table, a password recess table, and the migrations table. So that's excellent.